Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's live stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This stream is proudly sponsored by, supported by, and supplied by the amazing people at Red Deer Games. Red Deer Games, guys, check them out. If you're watching me live right now on my Twitch channel, I want to say hi, how you doing? Thanks for watching. But if you couldn't make it to today's live stream and you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, once again, hi, how's your dog? Thanks for watching. Now, it's never necessary, it's never asked for, but hey, I'm going to ask for it today. I really do appreciate it. if you like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, come visit me over on Twitch, Twitter, that's Marbrolay, M-A-R-B-R-O-L-A-Y, why not? Now this game's called Engulf, and it's just recently been released. Let me tell you what it's about. Okay, set off the most en engaging golf adventure you have ever seen and visit breathtaking places from around the world. Grab your equipment with you and begin your journey to become a master of N-Golf. Explore beautiful, minimalistic locations full of traps, puzzles, and amazing views. While playing golf, or play, sorry, while playing N-Golf, you will face many challenges on your way. Lasers, spikes, flames, and many more will try to stop your ball. Remember the timing is the key to success and you shouldn't hurry in with your hit. Go with the flow and master all the worlds. There is an unlimited number of possibilities, solutions to finish levels. Different angles and strengths can challenge your trajectory of your bowl. Do I, do I don't know that word. Check your surroundings for hills, teleports, or speed boosters. Each element gives you a new opportunity to hit the hole. Become a golf master. To become a professional, you have to collect all the stars of each stage and accomplish the lowest amount of hits. Study the layout of the map. Take as many attempts as you need to obtain a title of champion. So the game features eight unique worlds, over 60 levels to master, 60 guys, 6-0, scorecards to help you keep track of your process, progress, sorry. Uh, today we're playing on the Nintendo Switch OLED model in handheld mode. Uh, it's supported modes, a TV top mode, handheld mode, and um, you know, obviously uh, the other one, I forgot what the other one's called. Uh, it's a single player game. Uh, publisher is Red Deer Games, check them out guys. Uh, Support a language of Japanese, English, French, German, Chinese, traditional. Uh, once again, publisher Red Deer Games. Available for the Nintendo Switch. Okay, that's all I need to say about the, uh, the game itself. Let's check out the settings. There's the settings. Um, scorecards, we've never played before. Loading. To know what's going on. No idea what that's about. I'm not even playing the game, am I? Are we playing the game now or what? Back to menu. Let's go back to menu. Okay, so A to play. Let's play. I thought we were doing the scorecard. So, okay, okay, obviously we were playing straight off the bat. No idea. Okay, so the hole is just there. And in it is, hole in one. First shot, well, kind of first shot. Uh, so it's pretty easy to get the ball in the hole. It kind of like goes into like a, like a whirlpool in the water. Like it gets sucked in. Oh, didn't mean to press it. Sorry, my bad. Uh, we want to... Is it going to be enough? No, it's not. It's uh, this game gives me the vibes of um, Hitman Go, or what was it Tomb Raider, Lara Croft Go? One of those games where you're kind of looking down at it, but obviously those games you're going to shoot. I'm not doing enough power, am I? Got to practice my power, guys. Okay, we're going over a bridge. Still not enough power. Yep, there's the whirlpool effect. It's sucked in the hole. So you just gotta basically get it near the hole. Once you get it near the hole, it's game. Game over. That sucked. I say so the power trajectory is actually not the A button. The A button is to hit it. Uh, the power is actually doing this, stretching it out in this. So I got it used to that. My bad. Almost got all the stars. Yeah, got all the stars and a hole in one again. Okay, so level complete. 
Not bad. Mode two, Ice Age. Okay, where are we? No, I wasn't gonna make it, was it? Basically back where I started. <laughs> I'm basically back where I started. And I did it again. Okay, so I hit the spikes, crap. Don't wanna hit the spikes. Oh, I got a whirlpool effect. It's gonna pull me, yes it is. It's a cool game. I like this game. Now we're just gonna get a little bit of power up there. Obviously I'm not going for all the stars. I'm just trying to show you guys what the game is actually like. And at the moment, I'm really enjoying it. Ah, ah, okay. There we go. Oh no, the whirlpool fix not in effect. That's a cool little game. It's cute and cuddly and I like it. Okay, need more power. Too much power. There we go. Cool little soundtrack in the background. Come on, Whirlpool. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Wrong way! There we go. Welcome to the stream, Jericho. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, cowboy. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Okay, that's one way of getting them out. Go on, go on. Ah! Yay, hole in one. Oh no, it's not, I got ripped. I called it too early. Called it too early. <laughs> I really thought that I was going to get a hole at once it was going down the hill. I thought, yeah, definitely. Nah. Got ripped. Well, three. What was World Amusement Park? This would be fun. So, the idea of getting all the stars is um, obviously a tricky one. But, ah, oh, back to the start. Getting the hole in one itself is not that hard. It's just, it's just getting this. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Yeah, stop there. Oh man, too much power. Happy Gilmore shot. It's a cool game. Like a really cool little game. Love the way it's um, visualization of it. It's just really good. Like the way it looks. That was terrible. Am I going up a hill? Kind of feels like I am. I'm just going for the hole. Not for the stars. Welcome to the stream, Jericho. I mean, Brookie. I already said hi to you, Jericho. Double hi to you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I can get it in. Yeah. Okay, so we want to... There we go. Missed all the stars. I think we got one, but... As I said, I'm not going for the stars. Just showing you guys what the game is like. Hey! Oh, there's a spike there. Sorry, my bad. Don't hit the spike! Hit the spike. Okay, that's not gonna hit the spike now, is it? Oh, no, I've gone back. I've gone back. At least I got all the stars, but I've gone back. No! Yes, no spike for you. No shoot for you, you go home. Oh no, you come back, one year. Soup Nazi. Oh, this could be a while. I could be stuck in a time loop here, oh no. 
Oh, it's trying to power my shot out of there. <laughs> I can't believe I missed it. Oh! Teleportation! That's <laughs> good. I was gonna say, if it keeps going, we're in trouble. <laughs> oh boy. We just gotta get. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, okay. No! <laughs> Oh my god. This is a tricky one because of that teleportation thing. Ah! Oh, too much power. Gonna lay off the power. Let's get it out in the open here. Send this baby home now. There we go. That took a while. Okay, so what have we got here? Okay. Okay, wrong side. Oh, <laughs> you gotta get it just right. Okay, World 3, Amusement Park done. Italian Town, World 4. Some pizza, spaghetti bolognese, spaghetti bolognese, lasagna. Oh, can we be a hole? Nah. Oh well, missed out in the star. Okay, so. There we go, easy one. I like the way the worlds move in too, like the, the, the courses move into order. Where are we going? Let's have a look. Oh, spikes there. Where's the spikes in there? That's a close one. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping to get it in there. Oh, the little hill there. I just kind of see the hill sometimes. A little bit of power. Oh, too much power. Yeah, it's definitely a hill. It's going to go for a whole heap of power. Ah. Oh. Come back. What a great little game. I love it. Oh, hold on, we got we got something going on here. That one's easy to get past. Missed the two stars, but there was like a tornado. Whoops, sorry. Stars and Colin too. Okay, can't get hit by that. Coming back. Well, we've got the stars, that's the main thing. Okay, so Saint keeps pushing me back. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's not liking that, is it? Just gotta stop here. Too much power. Ah, oh, bugger it. Oh no! <laughs> okay, level complete. World 4 Italian Town's done. And World 5, the beach. Oh, this is nice and vivid. 
The game looks amazing on the, uh, the Switch OLED too, by the way, guys. Really like the way it looks. It's got some sand. That yeah, sand slows you down, which is clearly a good thing now and then. Can't see where I am, actually, sorry. Oh, okay, let's get eaten. And spikies. Damn it, that's a terrible shot. No, don't, don't eat me. Oh, we also got a fan there blowing. Didn't see the fan. As I say, I'm just going for the hole, not the stars. The whole idea of the game is the stars as well, but I'm just showing it off. No. I hit that ball quick before that tornado comes and gets me. Roll, 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 yeah. I only missed two. Okay, where are we? Nice and easy. Oops. Oops. Ha ha ha. No. Oh, we're gonna make it. We did. Okay. Uh, World 6 is a farm. We're gonna leave it there, guys. Uh, time for Marble Lady's mini indie game review. Uh, how, many, how many worlds is this was there? Actually, hold it. Let's, um, can we, can we, let's have a look. Uh, sorry. Back to menu. Okay, wait, this is how many worlds. Sorry, I didn't know I could do this. Italian town, farm, and then we got Japanese garden, uh, magic forest, the moon, which is interesting, and wild west, cowboy style. Anyway, uh, what do we think about the game? In golf, Nintendo Switch. I loved it. I reckon it's fun as hell. It's a really good game. The way it looks, the way it plays, uh, kind of like a top-down perspective. And you hit the ball, and it goes to the hole, obviously. Uh, I guess a whirlwind gets sucked into the hole, but your idea is to collect the stars. Uh, I didn't collect the stars today, I just wanted to show you what the game was like. But it's a good one, it's a fun game, it's a casual game, it's good for kids, it's good for you, yourself. Uh, adults as well, sorry. Um, the good thing about the kids, they'll like it because the ball gets sucked in, it's not, not too hard. Um, overall, the game is quite fun, very nice looking uh, game on the OLED model. Um, I'd say it looked just as good, no, it won't look just as good on the LCD Switch, but it's, it's still a good looking game. It's fun, it's vivid, it's it's just a fun game. A good casual game between games. Really like it. Uh, out of 10, I'm gonna give End Golf. I'm gonna give End Golf an 8.5. It's a, it's a decent game. Controls well, no bugs, no glitches. Yeah. Uh, once again, big shout out to uh, Red Deer Games. Without Red Deer Games, guys, this stream would not be going ahead to game today. So thank you for sending me the game to stream for all my fabulous viewers out there. Uh, once again, I wanna thank everyone for calling past my Twitch channel and watching me live. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But if you couldn't make it to today's live stream and you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. You mean the world to me, guys. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank everyone for calling past. Uh, big shout out to Red Deer Games. Uh, make sure you take care of yourselves and ones you love. Don't forget to feed your pets. Remember, the name's Marbury. Say hi to your dog for me. Thank you for watching and bye for now.